Hi folks, it's Switchback. I am at beautiful Lake Michigan, which if you watch my channel at all, you know is not close to home for me. So I'm gonna have some different scenery, hopefully for a few different videos. But let's talk a little bit about P devices. So I have seen in comments, I have seen on social media and heard anecdotally from people that they believe that these devices will cause bladder infections. So is that true? First, why should you listen to what I have to say about this? In addition to my current role as an ER nurse and my prior roles in healthcare and nursing, one of those roles was five years spent in urology. Teaching people how to avoid bladder infections has been a huge part of my career. Bladder infections are also called urinary tract infections or UTIs. And UTI is more of an umbrella term, but I will be using these terms interchangeably. And ultimately they're all about the urinary tract. A list of things that can cause bladder infections and this is not a comprehensive list. Being postmenopausal, some people's anatomy, it just puts them at higher risk risk. It's just the way that everything aligns. Even when you're younger, this is why some people get infections when they have sex and some people don't. Speaking of sex, some contraceptive methods that use spermicide. Having any kind of recent urological surgery or other urological issues such as incontinence, spinal cord injury, kidney stones, an enlarged prostate or other obstructive urological diagnoses. Having an indwelling catheter or a Foley catheter or using an in and out catheter or having incomplete emptying. External catheters that can be placed in the medical setting. Same with a continence brief or a continence pad and that moisture and that urine and all the other stuff that's just sitting there against the urethra for hours can certainly increase your risk for urethritis and a bladder infection. Fecal incontinence, having a weak immune system from other diagnoses or health conditions such as HIV or going through cancer treatments or even diabetes. Holding your bladder for too long, which is very common, especially on a public trail, in the military, and a lot of different, you know, nurses and <laughs> teachers. Nurses and teachers are probably the ones I did the most testing on. <laughs> and using perfumed products or vaginal cleansers in your genitals. Note that not a single one of these is something that is briefly in contact only with your external genitals. However, not having an opportunity to empty your bladder can actually increase your risk for infection. So using something like a pee device to increase your opportunities to go can actually reduce your risk for infection. Additionally, just like having a continence brief or urine in your underpants or on a brief or a pad in your underpants, you know, not wiping and kind of drip drying does slightly put you at a higher risk for infection. And this is up against your genitals for hours at a time versus something like a pea cloth that is briefly going by your genitals. So with that, a pea cloth is not going to pose the same risk as having a continence brief or something else that's up against your genitals for hours at a time. The only way it really could increase your risk is if you have fecal incontinence or you're wiping so far back that you're getting fecal matter on here and then rubbing it past your urethra. If you do have fecal incontinence, this may not be the best thing for you. Use something that is single use like tissue or a wipe. So to answer the question, can pee devices or pee cloths increase your risk for a bladder infection? Bottom line, no. Anecdotally, if they did, then we would be seeing all kinds of through hikers posting about how they got a bladder infection from these things. They use these all the time. I have seen lots of people claim that they may, that they cause infections, but not actually saying that they got an infection from it, or even that anyone that they know got an infection from it. And correlation does not mean causation. In fact, I would argue that these will reduce your risk for infection because you're more likely to empty your bladder and you're more likely not to have urine sitting on your underpants. Plus, some of these cloths, like the Kula cloth here, will actually have a silver impregnated material to help even further reduce the risk for an infection. If you wanna know more about these devices, be sure to click on this playlist here. It's all about these and other genital health issues out on the trail. Thank you so much for watching. And if you got value, be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss anything. And I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. That will be, bye-bye.